Dobra Den, yet again. We're in Sunny Beach, of course. Dobra Den there. It's um, Sunday afternoon, we're coming to town because we're going out tonight with a lot of expats um, for a meal down the front. A group of us tonight. But anyway, it's the 19th, our uh, Sunday, and it's a really good temperature. You've seen a minute. Quarter two. And it's going to be, amazingly, I think it's 26. 28 degrees centigrade that's actually gone up a degree since i was walking here a minute ago anyway 28 degrees um so obviously we're on flower street we're going to take a walk up uh sort of artist street up to the eye hotel that area but the first little thing is susan's going to arrange to spend some money which is her money not my money <laughs> so we're going into She's going to book her nails to be done. And there's a really great girl here, Daniela. Susan's been coming here for a, well, I've been going to her apartment in the winter, but in a shop in the summer, get her nails done. There you go, she's booking it in, spending some more money. I don't get my nails done, of course. There you go, she's booked in. Very busy little um, salon here, she does nails, toes, pedicures. We got all done, booked in. Booked in That's a Thursday afternoon sorted. I'm going to have to find a bar for two hours while Susan has her nails done. Hey! That's going to be difficult in Sunny Beach, isn't it, folks? All right, so we're going up to Artist Street. Turn left up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar. Yeah, yeah. It's actually 28. It's it's quite like a good temperature today because Google put it my Google. I just checked it as we left the house and it said it was 25 degrees here today. So that's a bit warmer than the forecast. And as you can see, for all the pessimists out there, there is the odd little cloud. There is a cloud. Look, oh my goodness, there is a cloud in Sunny Beach. Panic, panic, there's a cloud. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? There's a cloud in the sky. A little white puffy one. Anyway, gotta turn left. Turn left, see if Molina's is open. Yeah, I'll go past Molina's because that actually had a, a bit of a tidy up a few weeks ago. It is open. Yep, there we go. And you could get a full English breakfast. I don't know what that was like. Roast chicken. Roast chicken. It is Sunday, I suppose people love their roast chicken. And they have a few football matches on as well. Oh. A few different meals there. And they do jacket potatoes. I'm not quite sure about proper English jacket potatoes, but that's something you don't normally see in Sunny Beach is jacket potatoes. A few in. Yeah, a few people having a Sunday lunch. Wow. And we've got the little train. Little drop off point here at Molina's. So the fish pedicures, get your feet eaten by fish, your dead skin. They seem to be everywhere again this year. I know you don't see them in England anymore because apparently it's cruel to the fish. I don't know. If I was a fish, I wouldn't really eat my toenails. But anyway, that's 10 levs. If you want to come and 10 lever, uh, £4.50 to come and get your uh, dead skin removed from your feet. Buy a little shoal of fish. That sounds really exciting. Certainly not exciting for the fish, but there you go. Right, we've just come up near the Jupiter Steakhouse. Next door is Nicky, who's apparently the most famous football shirt salesman 
in Sunny Beach. He's got lots and lots of shirts here. That he's just said the same price as 15 years ago. So 30 lev yeah, mate. for the latest shirts, 30 lev. And look at this selection in here. You can even get the socks as well to match. Absolutely. This is the football paradise. Got the scarves. You can get a, F, a, a fake World Cup. Yeah, tracksuits. Oh, tracksuits as well. Oh. All the team tracksuits. Wow, it's got a big selection of players' shirts here as well. So this is Nicky's, say, next to the Jupiter State Steakhouse. So everybody asked about where is Nicky still here? He's still here apparently. There you go. And his life. That's <laughs> not <laughs> So we're at the Royal Beach Mall now. The beautiful fountains running. Oh, I can feel the cool air coming off these fountains. That is really nice. And of course, next door is the Shanghai Chinese restaurant. And Susan was just saying that about three of our friends have been there in the last week or so. They've all given very, very good reports of it. So if you fancy a Chinese, it's next to the Barcelo. And this afternoon the fountain's going, that is a really nice, cool, shaded place to have a meal. And we're actually walking up the road that's um, parallel to the promenade and heading north. So at the back of the Victoria Hotel, some of the other big hotels, there's quite a few little restaurants here. And the thing that it's very shady, there's lots of trees. It's very cool. So in the middle of the day, you just want to get out the heat of the beach, you just come one road back. Lots of restaurants, nice bars, you can go and sit and have a cooling beer. But with a lot of greenery, it really is nice. So we're only just cut through from the, from the front, but this is really pleasant. There's some really nice looking bars and restaurants along here. And there's always a few offers on. Those offers is Eat and Go. Let's just have a look. The Tanya. And every two pizzas or spaghetti or burgers take away one litre of homemade lemonade. Well, that's a bit different to a big beer, isn't it? And that's the Tanya. So if you've got children and you're right on the front here, that's not a bad choice, getting a, a litre of lemonade, home, homemade lemonade for the kids. That's quite a nice idea. Split a couple of pizzas amongst the family and drink some lemonade in the evening. And that is just behind the Glarus, one of the big ones. So that's easy to find. Again, lots of greenery here. It, had, it was chucked down yesterday afternoon, it chucked down with rain. Unbelievable, we went to a barbecue of all things. Our friend had a barbecue. <coughs> it was a birthday party for her dog. So you've got to mention Linda. And, it's <laughs> um, and we had to do it inside. It was absolutely hammering down. It was such a shame. But little Jasper, the dog, he enjoyed his party. Got lots of treats. And a lot of people had a lot of meat to eat and a bit of alcohol as well. It's quite a good afternoon. In one of the villages about three or four miles away. And I say this road is really nice by the Glarus. There's lots of trees. It's very shaded. Oh, this is quite pleasant. As he trips up on a really rough bit of pavement. <laughs> it's the Regina Hotel. A lot of people in the pool there. That's quite nice. I'm now back at the front, coming down towards the Dune Hotel, I think, in that region. Oh, we've just hit the front now, and we're obviously Fat Cat, La Bamba and Euphoria. So this is a really popular area for the to eat at night on the beach. Some big restaurants here. You pay a little bit more than the one road back, obviously, because you're on the front. But it's got really hot this afternoon now. There's not so many people about. I think they're in the, around the pool. So continue my little walk, see what's about. Oh, this is really interesting. This is it's in this bar, Gulliver's Bar, right now. A couple of years ago, we were here in May when they started the season, and 
Sue always used to love this because it's got fantastic palm trees. There you go. Look, it looks amazing. They're all fake because the guy was up the ladder putting the leaves on. So these are really, really good fake palm trees. Honestly, standing there, you would honestly think they are real on the beach here, but they're not. They just stuck the leaves in in the start of the year and they'll stay up there, so they're artificial. So it gives a really good effect. It, a lot of people are confused. They think, oh, there's real palm trees just there. No, they're not. There are some real palm trees. And there are a lot of them are fake. A bit like the football shirts in Bulgaria, of course. <laughs> Some more football shirts here. Yeah. I've actually have McDonald's open now. Um, it is very, very expensive in Bulgaria to go to McDonald's with your family. Very expensive. So just do it as a treat once for the children if they insist. But you can get a really good burger, a better burger and chips really somewhere else for a lot less money. But they are at least open now. We're coming up to the Platinum Casino and the hotel. One of the big landmarks on the seafront, really. It's a really big casino, this one. Yes, there's quite a few people around. Ginger's has got a few in this afternoon. It's really nice. Looking bar. And this time of year it's nice to have a bit of shade. It's quite important to have shade. Ah! Joke of the day. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Yeah, that's quite witty. Hello! Hi! Quite witty indeed, that one. <laughs> You'd get into trouble for saying that, couldn't you? Anyway, so we're at the Platinum now. We're well, coming up towards Oil of Rica Beach. It's just a bit further up. you notice the paving and the walls improve as we go, get up towards the casino, the actual front becomes a bit a bit nicer in a way that it's finished off better I mean that's what I'm going to say it's not really nicer it's just finished differently that's a nice beach bar this afternoon you can have bean bags and you can yeah just chill out on the beach and there you can see the Avrika beach coming up so I've got Bellevue Hotel several others along here nice stretch of beach it's quite windy this afternoon it's quite windy oh, bouncy castle's a bit deflated don't think it'll ride on that this afternoon and here's the casino it's it's quite funny because a pre-recorded talk they give about coming and gambling and eating and drinking and enjoying yourselves and it's on a loop I wish i had been past it 20 times I wish I'd change it a little bit change the voice have a different person doing that and it's the same spiel they used to do two three years ago as well so I've heard that so many times <laughs> I like to gamble there you go There are some new karaoke bars up this end this year. A couple of the karaoke people have moved up here. Um, it's a bit of a change. It used to be the other end, really. I've said karaoke. It's gone this end of the beach now, the north end. But isn't that absolutely beautiful? There's a parasending boat waiting to take someone out. The sea is a, a fantastic light blue it's gorgeous color this afternoon there's Nessie bar in the background so all the sunbeds are out there's a few people on some beds and this is the Evrika beach 
I know there's a lot of people, I've had several messages about the Avrika, people staying here, they haven't been here before, just wondering where the where it stands for. Well, it's about a 10 or 15 minute walk back to Flower Street, which is there, <laughs> back up there. It's about 15 minutes. But the little train runs along here, so if you're in the hotel <coughs> and you don't want to walk both ways, you can catch the little train that comes past. Stops here very frequently. So there you go, that's your Vrika Beach. Nice pools. And really it's a good position, it's directly opposite the beach. So if you love the beach, it's a great hotel to stay in. Right, we've gone a little bit north, we're actually behind the Avrika Beach Hotel. And we're obviously, to my right is the Avrika Beach Hotel, beyond the trees there. And further across, to my right, through the back roads here, are the big big bars on the front. So that's where your fat cats are, Euphoria. Now we've got a road here that divides the resort, a through road. The opposite side of the road are lots of smaller hotels and lots of apartments. Now if you take a wander through here, you'll pay a lot less for your food. If you're on a little bit of a budget, just come back across this road, head into this area, like a family hotel, family restaurant, really good. Um, just up here is the Flamingo Hotel. You can see that there, Flamingo. There's a little road this side of that, you follow that down, there's a fantastic restaurant there, the Lira, Lira Hotel. So by crossing over that road, you're probably gonna save 25% on, on your bill. It's very noticeable that we're, tonight we're actually down the promenade tonight with friends, they've booked a restaurant. That's gonna be a bit pricey. So this is where we normally eat, so back across this road and you'll find it's a lot cheaper. So you've got to watch the pennies a little bit. Just take a 10 minute walk from the front. So we're going to have a walk now past the Eye Hotel, which is one that was refitted probably about four years ago, something like that. And I've had a lot of messages on Facebook and my YouTube. Um, can you just walk past the I Hotel, show us where it is? Well, it's actually behind the casino I was showing you a minute ago, the Platinum Casino. This is directly behind that, basically. So it's one line back from the beach. It's a little bit quieter. Actually, it's a lot quieter than being on the beach. Um, I say I had a refit four or five years ago. So it's not a bad location. There's quite a bit of trees around here as well. It's just, you see the trees, it's a little bit cooler with the trees. It doesn't feel as hot here. Yeah, it doesn't feel anything like as hot. It's a bit nicer. So this is the back of the hotel we're coming to. And up ahead, the grey building up ahead, it's basically the casino and the beach. So, not far from the beach. So there's a few trees just coming back a little distance from the beach. You get a different feel, a bit greener, a little bit cooler. So this is the Eye Hotel. So it was refitted about four or five years ago. Quite nice grounds. Put a new frontage on it, it's quite nice. Got a security man on, which is always good. And it's directly opposite the Platinum Casino. So and there's the beach. You see just through the little huts in the background my finger is Great that's location. the beach so you haven't got far to go to the beach you can't miss it because it's behind the casino it's very well kept the grounds do look very nice Super. <laughs> yeah it looks good oh right so now we're in the pub which is actually a pub called the pub and we're directly opposite the Red Lion. There you go, across the road. We're behind the Barcelo. And Susan just got us two, two um, big, big beers. Two big cabinets. Two big cabinets. How much was that? 360 for the pair. 360 for the pair. So that's 170 for a big cabinet set. Um, that is a really good price in Sunny Beach. Anyway, it's um, cha-cha for now. See you again. Yeah.